What's happening, Pokey fam? It's Tuesday, February 9th. It is 4.45 a.m. You know what that means. I got my little furry co-pilot here. Let's go down to McDonald's and see if we can find some 25th anniversary Pokemon cards. Let's go. All right, guys, we were the first ones in line. They had some, we got a few packs. Let's go home and open these up. All right, PokeFam, I'm so happy we were able to find these. I half expected there to be a line out the door when I got there or someone to have already shown up and bought them all, which is really not cool. Collectors of all ages should be able to enjoy this, but I got up really early for these. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's check out these 25th anniversary packs. First of all, you get this awesome Pikachu box with it, which I'm definitely gonna keep. The ears pop out of the side and go into the top. So let's open this up. Now I just got a few packs, but we're gonna open all of them up. I was thinking about keeping some sealed, but I just wanna open them. So we got one, two, three, four, five packs here. All the Pikachu with the white cover variant. There's some different color ones out there, but Let's open these up. I really want to pull a Bulbasaur and a Chikorita and a Pikachu. First of all, you pop it open and there's like a little, some kind of game. Oh, you got to match up. You got to play Who's That Pokemon with the Shadow. That's cool. Here's the pack. You get this little box, this little cardboard card holder, little deck box. Let's see, let's fold this together. This is so cool. Like it, the memories that this brings back from like the early 2000s, from like driving around to look for the Pokemon toys at McDonald's and at Burger King when the, uh, the Pokeballs were out. And I remember like driving to all these different McDonald's and there are all these different Burger Kings looking for those balls and they're all sold out. And now I realize it was probably a bunch of people buying them all up. So like I said, make sure you leave some for everybody else. Look how cool this little box is. I'm definitely gonna keep that on the shelf too, but let's open some packs. Okay, so the way they put the hollow is facing out this way. So if you don't wanna be, if you don't wanna see it right away, kinda open it backwards. It's a different kind of uh, pack too. It's more of like a paper than the normal like the normal pack stuff and then the one in the front you're just gonna want to put to the back for the card trick so all right we've got treko with the little 25th anniversary pikachu logo so so awesome now i'm pretty sure you get a hollow in every one finnekin ashwoot and what do we got for our first hollow a mudkip right on look at the shine too the hollow pattern is pretty cool it's like these little kind of like little like pixels the little square we're gonna pop all these up on the wheel once we open all of the packs so let's put this guy here get him in frame all right let's open another one here let's take let's take all of these out bam looks like the same little boxes in each one. Bam. All right. Bulbasaur, let's do it. And we'll do it backwards. Now, hopefully, these end up at a lot of McDonald's for a while. The employee that I was talking to this morning said that it looked like they were going to be getting pretty steady shipments of them for a little bit. So hopefully everybody's gonna be able to get their hands on these. Don't pay the crazy eBay internet prices that you're seeing. If you hang out at the McDonald's and check and give them a call and stuff, you're gonna be able to get some. Cyndaquil, we've got Chimchar and a oh, Snivy. I thought it was the Bulbo when I saw the green for a second. Right on. So, so cool, that pattern and that stamp. This will just be a quick little bonus video for the week, PokeFan. Would be really cool to pull the Pikachu too. But 
but the quality of these cards looks pretty high. You know, the centering looks pretty good. The hollow, the centering on the hollows looks a little off. Sobble, so awesome. Torchic and Turtwig. This is one of the cooler artworks, I think, out of all of these. It's just a fun little background. Loving that hollow pattern. Oh, what am I doing? I've been forgetting to set them. I'm so excited. I'm forgetting to use the hollow holder. Oops. There we go. I feel like I'm missing one. No. Okay. Two more packs. Can we make a Bulbasaur or a Chikorita or a Pikachu appear? All right. Sneezy. There's a Chikorita, all right. Even though it's not all, it's, I still want, you know, both versions. That's so cool. 25 years, wow. Pokemon has been in my life and around for 25 years. Froki, so cool. We'll sleeve all these up too at the end. All right, it all comes down to you. Some last pack magic for either a Pika or a Bulbasaur. Can we do it? Let's see. These packs come apart really easy too. Kind of cool. All right. Can we last pack magic it? We got the Charmander. So awesome getting our Cantos. Another Chikorita. We've got a non hollow Turtwig and McDonald's last pack magic. What have you got for us? It's a hollow Charmander. So awesome. So, so, so cool. Let's put all of these up on the wheel for a minute. That hollow effect is so, so, so awesome. Another quick little recap. We got the Charmander. We've got Froakie. We've got Snavy. And a hollow Turtwig. Oh, and hollow Mudkit. But as always, PokeFam, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I post a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you in these next videos.